New tomorrow, the dawn of a new tomorrow, Bertha. Uh, lovely seeing you here at the start of the week. We'll chat soon again here during, during the rest of the week. Now, uh, there have been vocal debates surrounding employment in the run-up to the election. We have three days to go here in the UK, right, before the general election. But from zero-hour contracts to the minimum wage, are these outdated ideas completely? Could a more flexible and productive working schedule be adopted rather than the traditional nine-to-five? Jason Downs is a managing director from Powwow wow Now, and he is with us uh, here in the studio. Hi, Jason. Hello, Louisa. Why are you interested in this topic of, of flexible working hours? Why does it matter? Uh, well, personally for me, uh, my business, which is a conference call company, um, allows other people and other companies to have a much better way of working, much more productive, a much more flexible way of, of working. So work-wise, it's important, but also home-wise home as well. I have a young family. It's important for me personally to have a more flexible way to do what I need to do each week, each day. Yeah. How about the people who say, look, this is a, in, in, in principle it's great, you know, in practice it's terrible, that you need to have some type of a, a team spirit, you need to have a community feeling as well, it's important that we know what rules and regulations are in place, that you have somewhere where you have to go in, you need to show up, you need to show your face, you need to, you know, make sure that, that you're, you're part of something, something greater and if you just sit at home working all the time, you, you don't get that. Yeah, I guess when I look at our customers, I look at some of our business partners, how they work, um, that statement is very outdated now. The technology is now here to enable everybody to work where they want, around the globe, around the UK, around Europe, and get things done because you can share files, you can message each other, and it's what the new generation is expecting and demanding. Is there, is there proof in the numbers? I mean, do we actually see better productivity if you work from well, home? Sure. There's various stats out there in terms of productivity. Um, that's probably not the thing I would jump on the most. It's actually a retention of high quality staff I would go for as the biggest benefit because you can actually recruit talent, retain talent wherever you are. You're not restricted to your location. But aren't we still moving, I mean, for the last many decades, I, I would argue, we, we've moved more towards working all the time. I mean, now more than ever, you're switched on all the time, right? You have Blackberry with you or, you know, whatever. Uh, uh, mobile device you have with you, and you, and you, so you're constantly up to date. I mean, are, are you saying that we're moving, we're moving away from that trend? Or we, I mean, I are, we're getting choices. So because of it, your information is always there, so yeah. in one way you could say you're always working. On another way, you could say actually you've got time now, and you can make time to do the things you're most passionate about. That could be taking your kids to school, it could be walking your dog, it could be doing sport, it could be learning a new language. Whatever you are most passionate about, find time to do it. Um, I also saw a stat that we spend something like 200 hours per year com commuting. Yeah, that's a UK yeah. stat by TUC. Um, actually, if you go down some of the layers of that data, there's a huge group of people spending over 50 hours a month just in terms of commuting. And How if you look at last week, in terms of some of the, the train chaos around um, the southwest and the south, it was, you know, you know, five hours of wasted time for many people. How does, how does UK working compared to working elsewhere I mean, in terms of the flexibility of jobs? Um, in terms of flexibility, um, the Scandinavian countries have been far ahead in terms of their commitment really to mums and dads in terms of enabling them to spend time with families. Um, the UK is catching up considerably. Um, in the US, one in five people is expected to be working at home. In France, Germany, that trend is growing. We're seeing much more demand for our products in those nations now. So, as with everything, it's, it, everything is going global. You're not getting one country doing something in another country not following that. So, so these promises that we're hearing in the run-up to the election about, uh, you know, uh, wages or about working hours, I mean, what do you make of, of that? Literally, I've never relied on government to run my business. Um, I don't need their policies. I think most business leaders don't need the government policies to do it. You've got to do what's right for your business and right for your employees and right for your customers. Jason, thank you very much uh, for coming in to talk to us. Uh, Jason Downs, the Managing Director for Pow Wow Now. Thank Thanks. you. Uh, that is it.